Hey guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. My name is Sarah, I'm married to Mark, and I have eight children at home, 10 children total, if you haven't been here before. So anyway, I'm making this video. Today is September 11th. Um, and I think we all have a story about September 11th um, as adults, um, <laughs> where we were. Um, sorry, I'm kind of in a weird place because the sun's here. But, um, you know, as an older, an older mom, I'm 41. Um, I think that we have a story about, sorry, someone keeps writing to me about things I was writing, um, where we were on that day. And I was in, um, college. I had been at school for just one week at that point. I was a freshman and I had actually been with my family just the few days before in Portland, which is where some of the terrorists had flown their flown from Portland to Boston to get on those flights. So that's um, my story of where I was just a few days before. Um, the day of the attack, I had gone to my first class and um, at college and it was a political science class. And a couple, I had seen some people when I was leaving the breakfast, um, the cafeteria, watching the screens of the TV, um, the news that was on, but I didn't really watch. I was trying to get to my class and I just saw that there were more people than usual, usual watching. So when I got to class, um, is when I found out that the first plane had hit and that class was political science class and our teacher, sorry, no, my first one was not political science. My first class was like a freshman introduction class. And, um, so we were just kind of talking about the world we live in, the crazy world we live in and what was going on. But at that point, only one plane had hit and it was, so there was just kind of this thought that there was some mistake, but how damaging that was to, you know, just if you went to work that morning and there was, you know, no sign that anything was going to be wrong. And then a plane slams into your building. That's, that is a problem no matter whether it was, um, planned or not. By the time I got to my second class, it was political science and my teacher, um, mentioned Al Qaeda, which none of us knew about, but because he had been, um, in political science for a while, um, he was really suspecting Al Qaeda would come out with it. And so by that point, when I got to my second class, the second plane had hit and there was, yeah, I don't think either of the towers had fallen at that point, but then we got news during our class that the towers had fallen. Um, again, I don't remember the timeline very well. This was a long time ago. Um, I had a bunch of, um, thoughts on that day. Um, I was newly engaged to Mark, who's now my husband. Um, and I couldn't get a hold of him because phone service was down. I couldn't get a hold of my parents. They were both at work. Um, but I couldn't get a hold of them. I had family that was in New York City and um, neither of them worked um, super close to the Twin Towers, but I knew that they could be affected by it. And at this point, um, I was away at school and I couldn't be with any of the people I wanted to be with. And so we as a family, um, we homeschool and this is something that we discuss every year. And so this morning we um, listened to the song, Where Were You When the World Stopped Turning by Alan Jackson. And it just made me cry. We were sitting at the breakfast table and I was just sobbing um, because it changed everybody's lives that day. Okay, so I paused and then I said some more stuff like I videotaped and then I stopped again because um, things got really loud around me. So let's see if I can remember my train of thought. Um, so on September 11th, um, that song we were listening to, where were you when the world stopped turning, just reminded me of all the different places that people were and how things were changing for each person. And for myself, um, I was Christian at the time that that happened. Um, and I was in school headed off to be a teacher and God had other plans for me than what I expected. And it wasn't changed specifically because of 9-11 but it was definitely um, changed by God. So on that day, <laughs> okay, tell him not to. <laughs> She's doing sign language behind the camera. On that day, I didn't know how things were gonna change, but I think that we all had this sense that life was like, I don't know, safe, 
before that. Not that every person was safe. I mean, I lived in a time when our schools had bomb threats and there were school shootings going on, like Columbine happened while I was in high school. Um, but I think that we thought we were living in a safer world. And then that happened and it was kind of hard for all of us to um, know what the future held. And so looking back on all of that, I know that God is sovereign. And if you listen to stories from 9-11, there are certain people who weren't at the buildings that day for no other reason than their car wouldn't start. Or um, I'm gonna put a link to a video called In My Seat about a pilot that was supposed to fly that day. He was supposed to have that plane that struck the World Trade Center, um, the first one. And he didn't get that assignment and um, somebody else died where he was supposed to be. So I'll leave that. That's by Steve Scheibner, and it's a very good message. He's a um, Christian pastor who used to live here in Maine. I think they live somewhere else now, but um, him and his wife are very um, neat people to talk to. You can't ride on that. <laughs> yes, you can touch that. Um, so anyway, um, that was a really good um, reminder. We watched that this morning that God is sovereign over all of those things. Um, but I also think that it just reminded me that we live in, we live in a world where we don't wrestle with flesh and blood, um, but it's the flesh and blood that are causing the chaos. And our job is to be out sharing the gospel and bringing more people to Christ and showing more people their, um, sin, like revealing their place and standing before God and how holy and mighty God is. And I think that that was a reminder for a lot of people that we have work to do while we're here. We're not here to make ourselves happier. We're not here to make ourselves feel better. Um, we're here to be doing a job. And so what is that job? Um, for me, God changed my plans and has me now home full time with my kids. And um, I thought I was going to be a school teacher and have my kids in daycare and school and be out every day with other kids. And no, God has me here with my kids every day so I can be teaching them Bible. I can be sharing with them what God's doing in my life and in the world. Um, I think that there were a lot of people who, um, hi, <laughs> um, who were changed forever in that day, um, because of losing a loved one or, um, having, hi, <laughs> having, um, you know, things, emotional and mental issues because of, um, the experiences they had that day. And no matter what, I have people who watch this channel that are on all sides of everything. So I don't, um, want these comments to get into, um, like conspiracy theories. I don't know what side of politics you stand on and that really doesn't matter. Um, and just so you know, I come from a family where Mark's family, um, multiple people in his family, both his brothers and his dad and a bunch of his uncles and everything fought, um, like we're in the U S military. Um, I, my side of the family, um, oh, sorry, my dad's side, my dad's family, um, not many of them were in the military because we have a, um, form of muscular dystrophy called Charcot-Marie Tooth. And even though my dad tried to join the military, he wasn't able to because of his disability. And what's kind of interesting is Alan Jackson, who sang that song, Where Were You When the World Stopped, stopped Turning? Um, he actually has Charcot Marie tooth and just stopped doing tours. Like he's on his last tour or just finished or something like that. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So my dad's family, there weren't a lot of military people because they couldn't join. And my mom's family, um, was Mennonite. And so they didn't join. So I have kind of like all background on where people think of these things. And no matter where you stand on anti-military or pro-military, People went off to war after 9-11 um, trying to fight for our freedoms. So no matter what you think of what they should have done or did do or whatever, there were families that are affected, that were affected and are still affected because either military family went off to war and never came back or they came back um, with the emotional burdens and pains that come with war. 
And so on this day, we should be remembering them. Also, um, my family, my dad was a firefighter, an EMT, and a dispatcher. And so all of those um, emergency personnel that went into those buildings to try to save people, people that they don't um, know, um, you know, just strangers to them, but they were willing to risk their lives to walk into those buildings to save those people. And those, those emergency responders who lost their lives that day, but also the ones that are still facing complications from all the, um, you know, toxic fumes and everything they breathed in. Um, we just gotta remember those. So all, all of the victims' families in all the different ways from 9-11. Um, I think it's a good reminder for our children to think through um, just what happened in our world that day so long ago. So a couple resources are Where Were You When the World Stopped Turning, that song, um, In His Steps, which I'll link in the bottom, and um, Drive Through History, Dave Stotts has a special about 9-11 where he talks about the different places that were hit and the Flight 93 that they helped get down so that it didn't hit anyone. Um, it's a very interesting um, story. But then also just to remember on this day, um, just that we live in a time and place where God is sovereign. God had a um, like plans behind all of that stuff that happened for each of those families. Um, God was walking through that with them and has changed their families um, in a way that we might not understand, but in a way that God's glory can be seen. And that's the God we serve. He's a God who is all through time and 9-11 did not surprise him. Um, and so just looking to a God who is bigger than the situations around us and how many people um, were just drawn closer in the relationships with God through those situations. So I hope that this was just an encouragement to you today to teach our kids about history. Um, I think it's important to teach our kids about history, U.S. history. I also think it's important to teach our kids church history. So about like the, hi baby, to teach our kids about, um, you know, Christians who have come before us that were martyred for their faith, um, Christians that have seen persecution and those types of things. Um, but I wanted to specifically talk about 9-11 today and just how it has impacted families. We are actually, some of the kids made some cards and we made some cookies. We're going to go over and drop those off at the fire station today um, just to thank them for their service. Um, I think when people get into this, they don't realize some of, like before 9-11, I don't think they realize some of the things they might be encountering. So we will see you guys next time on Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God.